this is an introduction to YOLA. It does change eventually. This is being recorded at the beginning of November 2017. I've set up an account. It's a free one. Uh, they're always trying to get you to spend money. You might want to. But you find a template that you're going to like, that you want to work with. You can always change the template. And I will choose here. There's a lot of choices here. I will choose one of these and let us select Gunther. Use it. it has details there. I click on this. Use this template. And then you're going to name the website, okay? And what it is, when the domain comes up, it's going to be your site travels, I mean your site dot site dot com. So what it is here, we're going to give it a name. We'll call it Connecticut Travels. Continue. And then you can put this information in here. I'll do it later. So it loads a site builder. And what where a lot of people get mixed up is that this is the builder. You get a final product here, okay? So I'm going to go into here. You have menu here, and I could just go into here. You could change things here, where to buy. You've got pages in here, and you can add stuff here. It has a map. These are, if I click inside here, you've got widgets here. You could add pictures. You could do a gallery and other things too. I want to add a page. I click on page. I'm going to click on the plus, new page here. I'm going to call this portfolio. I'm going to say save. And if I go into here, subheading here, and I could just put in little things here, some of our work. And let's say if I want to put a gallery, I have to load things in. You're limited to storage here. You've got a gallery here. However, you have to get the files first. So I click on files. So what I want to do, I could create a folder here and then I could call this um, Avery House and I could double click in here. Didn't mean to do that. I will just click on new, I don't want to do that. So to do this here, I will just search for files here. I can move them later. I'm going to say search I for, then I click on upload I'm gonna go into desktop here I created a folder on my desktop called YOLO website files and I'm gonna select all of these you can put a word file this here you can even put a video on here I try to compress them beforehand because you are limited with the storage it's gonna take a moment so I've got these files here I'm gonna close out of this window what I want to do here I want to do a gallery I like this feature I, I, I drag gallery down into here you have to drag your widgets down okay they're called widgets here I'm gonna go and find the files they're in here I will select the photos and say select generating thumbnails so we've got these lovely pictures here and if you want to edit one you could right click on one or just click on it, I should say shows the photo here you can put uh, edit the picture photo hover text here showing you this very quickly here I'm going to hit the cancel button here now, when you're doing this thing here, save your files as you go along. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on Publish. And then what I want to call this, Connecticut Travels, down here. It's Connecticut Travels, YolaSite.com. Next. 
subdomain is available. I click inside here. This is showing the website. These are the templates. You could fill them in. I'm going to click on portfolio. If I click in here, very nice. Next, next, next. Close out of the window here. So it shows you that here. This is the preview of the site. This is not the builder. This is the Yola builder. You see these toolbars at the top. If you want to add other pages, you just keep clicking on page. Some of you might be restricted here. I click inside the plus here. And what it says here, you are limited to only three pages. If you want to get more pages, you got to um, pay. What I suggest to people, when you're doing this stuff here, if you're doing things here, you want to um, just keep making longer pages here. So if I have some of our work here, I'm going to click over here to go to another page. And I'm on the index. And if I want to put a map on here, uh, I can delete objects here. If I click on here, the X, OK, X, OK, X, OK. Now, if I want to get rid of things here, let's say I want to put a map here. OK. Pretty easy. And then I could just say, so if I want to do a map here, so it gets started, it says click a widget here. So what I do, I click on, we got the widgets here. Just keep going over here. You can add a bunch of things here. Map, I drag into here. It's going to go in this region here, and then I could type literally an address like 22, let's say 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, spell it right, search, it shows it, I say save. So it's in this box here. If I don't want these widgets here, it's working with this preset thing here. We've got a widget though. And can you make these bigger? Edit. Edit here allows you to change the location. Save. I want to put a picture here. I just say picture. Drag it down. And then I could just choose any photo in here. Click on it. It's in there. I can scroll, pull in the corner to pull it in. Pull it down. It will show, okay, I wanted it up here. You can move things around. It can get a little sticky. When I pulled it up here, it made a full-size map. So if I click down to here still there and because it's in this thing here and if I go here and make it wider you can change the appearance so uh, next thing here if you want to do a form and if I create a form as I said I'm pulling everything into one page and you might have captions up above here if I want captions here text draw a text box down next thing I want to do Final thing before we publish this thing here, I want to do a contact us form. If I want to remove the yellow brand, I have to pay for that. So what I want to do here, I go over here, map YouTube, you can put a video in here, form. I drag it down to here. You could do a contact us, you can do a blank form. If I do this here, it shows this right in here. And it puts this, I am not a robot. What it does, people fill it out. It automatically goes to the email address that you've established for your account. I save the page. 
other thing too, I'm going to do a text box with a link to a document or another page. So what I could do here, I click on, I'm on the widgets again. I'm going to scroll over to the left. I'm going to go to text, drag it into here. And I'm just going to type in travel with us. We have a new book, a new book that has been published on Amazon. Check out additional information on the Ebenezer Avery House. I should capitalize that. So I'm going to talk about links. Very cool. Amazon, I highlight the text. You click on that little chain up there, link. So what it is here, I'm going to just type in the external link. Open a new window. I say, OK. When you look at that, you get an underline here. Now, I have the Ebenezer Avery House. I have a PDF here. Didn't mean to do that. Click on the add link here. What I want to do, file stored in this site. I click in here, browse. I have this PDF here. And I'm going to go into a separate window because I want to stay on the page here. And if I click in Amazon here, I could click inside here. I could say open link in new tab with a right click here. Other thing too, um, you could put a video in here too. Look at our video. Again, I click over here. And then I'm going to say in here file stored, browse, MP4. And that will stay within here. And I will say OK. So we've done a few things here. I'm going to save the page. Then I'm going to publish. You can publish without saving. If you do that, you're not going to see your results. I'm going to click on publish. Takes a moment. If you're on a slow connection, such as a Wi Fi, it could take a few minutes. You might want to step away, get a cup of coffee. Click over here. This is the home page. We've got a map. We've got a picture here. We've got a form. If I click on Amazon, it pops up in a new window. You type the www or you could copy the site here. If I go into here, I have these links here. I click on this here. It's bringing up the PDF. The great way to save, you could have more pages indirectly this way if you're including a lot of information. Close this out here. I'm going to click on look at our video here. You have to download the file. I would suggest if you're doing videos, publish them up to um, YouTube. A YouTube account is free. And I save this here. I could just click on it and watch the video. The form will come into there. You're going to have that I'm not a robot thing, which can be a real pain in the neck. Sometimes it wants you to fill things out. But make sure, as I repeat this again, know between the website view and the construction view. And you could do a lot of things to customize that template. You could change it if you wish.